Uh, so, uh, do you see it well? Yeah. So, um, with that interview, uh, we will uh, talk about my time in China, which was from 2005 to 2018. Um, and um, who? Ah, that way. So, what uh, did bring me to China? Um, as you said, uh, I'm a researcher, um, a chemist, uh, and entrepreneur, um, and uh, I have um, developed a completely uh, new technology based on a completely new material. I will not explain to you, don't worry. Um, and one of the products um, uh, was for uh, the printed circuit board industry, Dian Lu Ban, um, and we uh, provided um, a completely new process uh, to make the final surface finish, Yao Mian Chu Li, which has to guarantee that the copper contacts, uh, which you can see here, um, uh, can be perfectly um, soldered, ke uh, han xing, um, so that the um, electronic elements can well be connected with the board. And this is an extremely complicated process. And as uh, then a few years after uh, I had introduced the um, process to the market in mostly Europe, US, and then also in Korea, then um, all of a sudden many customers uh, went to China one after the other. So all of a sudden we have been in China. Um, so to your first question. Okay. Also, äh, wir ich, ich wollte anfangen, eine so, äh, kurz eine Umfrage machen. Und das geht doch nicht, weil viele haben die Kameras nicht angemacht. Ich wollte fragen, wer konnte ni Deutsch nicht äh, verstehen. Und jetzt doch nicht. Und äh, ich habe aber in meiner Einführung gesagt, wir können das Interview auf Deutsch führen, wenn du möchtest. Oder... Ähm, würde dir lieber Englisch, weil du äh, Englisch sprechen, weil ja, ich, ich, deine ich kann es gerne Englisch. auf Englisch machen. Ja. Okay, super. Gut, dann uh, let's uh, switch to English. <lacht> so my first, uh, my, my second question. Um, when I uh, when I first came to Germany, 2000, Christmas 2000, I had. Uh, 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 if people ask me what was your first uh, impression of uh, Germany, I, I, I can talk a, a couple of days uh, about this. But the first, uh, really, uh, what's stopped in my in my uh, brain is the the start about from Frankfurt, so a big forest, middle <laughs> in the middle of the city. That, that was for you, so impressive for me. And what has been your first impression of China um, in Shenzhen? And did these impressions change over time? Um, first, I already had an impression before I even went to China. Um, uh, because everybody has an impression. Also, um, I had been uh, in China already five, six years before because I had a contact with a Chinese researcher with the Chinese Academy of Science in Changchun. And I have been twice in Changchun. Um, and we went out also um, uh, to the Inner Mongolia border because I wanted to see uh, cranes there. Um, so I had an impression, um, which was mainly um, uh, uh, which was mainly um, Oh. Where is it? Sorry. Ah, here. Sorry. Du kannst uh, dein Bildschirm noch mal freigeben. Ja, ja. My impression was mainly that one. Aha. So, China's city already Changchun was very big and Beijing is very big and 
Then I read about Shenzhen, and that is um, uh, one view into Shenzhen. Um, when then finally, when I arrived in Shenzhen, I knew Shenzhen has um, a ten more than ten million people. During I was there, it uh, grew to more than twenty million people. Um, and the interesting thing is, um, later my Chinese friends told me. Um, Shenzhen is not a big city, and um, uh, all the Shanghai and Beijing people, they say, oh, Shenzhen is countryside. Uh, <laughs> for me, Shenzhen <laughs> was not countryside. It's, uh, it's uh, just a huge, a mega city, mega town. And the population density, the traffic, um, the culture, um, uh, and in fact, my impression before I went to China and when I arrived there, I was really terrified, uh, but I also decided um, to cope with this challenge. And my first uh, action was to look for somewhere to live, and that's it where I lived. Uh, I don't know um, who from those who are listening um, know Shenzhen a little bit, or maybe have been in Shenzhen. This Shoko. And uh, from my balcony, I looked into the Shenzhen Bay. You were my neighbor. I lived in Weilan Haiyan. Weilan Haiyan. Yeah. Weilan Haiyan is very interesting. Uh, my first, um, I will uh, show you soon, my first um, uh, soccer team has been founded in Weilan Haiyan. Um, and... <laughs> Half of uh, that soccer team, uh, my friends, uh, lives still live in Weilan <laughs> Haiyan. We have, we had got to know each other at that time, Sean. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, ha I have been in Weilan Haiyan so often, yeah, and it's really close. So you will also see, uh, you will also know um, uh, Shoko and the Shenzhen Bay. This is uh, Shoko Fishing Harbor. And that's uh, where I lived uh, here in 13th floor. Um, here you can see. Um, and um, uh, here another view from my balcony. Um, that is um, a park um, which only was built um, 2015, 16. Um, and um, uh, already before I have been at the coast very often, uh, but now with that park, uh, one can uh, bike and hike um, for more than 20 kilometers, really wonderful. And that helped me to overcome uh, my um, fear about um, a big town, huge town, traffic uh, jam and stuff. Uh, but also um, uh, all the other uh, things like um, uh, I got the friends and uh, learned to talk Chinese at least a little bit. Okay. So... I have the feeling, uh, as you just came to China, you missed the nature a little bit. Yes, yes. very much. Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, uh, my, the grandparents of my children, when they visited us in Weilan Haiyan, and the grandma told my son, boy, I can't live here. I won't survive here. <laughs> my boy said, why, grandma? It's so modern everywhere here. We have a swimming pool. <laughs> we have, we have, uh, it's a park. We live in a park. Yes. But the grandma says, no, there's no nature. So that, I that's understand. not true. Uh, sorry, that's not true for Shenzhen. Yeah. Um, uh, really, I have found so many parks. And uh, I was finally the expert um, uh, for the botanic garden uh, in Shenzhen. Uh, Xi'an Hai um, uh, have been there so often and Shenzhen has wonderful, wonderful, wonderful nature spots. Yeah, also Hong Kong. Yes. Hong Kong has also very yes. beautiful nature spots. I know lots of European hikers, they fly to Hong Kong just for hiking there. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, we, during our uh, preparation for this uh, today's uh, talk, uh, today's interview, we talked a little about uh, languages learning. Now, I told you, uh, I told you my experience when I came to Germany. The first thing I did, I did it well or did it right, I was learning the German language. That's uh, crucial, important for for me. And uh, you uh, shared my opinion. Um, you. You speak Chinese well. 
in China, uh, it's your working language, right? You 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 you, you didn't have a, a translator or operator with you. So why did you start to learn Chinese, and why do you continue to start to even now uh, learn it, although you live in Germany? Uh, yes, why I um, started to um, study or to learn Chinese was clearly because I wanted to have Chinese friends. And I wanted to become able to um, uh, uh, truly communicate with my customers. Um, because I also um, found out with my customers um, that the English uh, was um, uh, quite limited. Um, um, I can um, show maybe first here. Um, so working with the customers um, here, um, down there, you see... Um, one of the machines um, uh, which we developed uh, together with um, a, a Chinese company um, in which our process is running. Uh, the machines were between 25 and 45 meters long and this complicated. And to bring this uh, uh, to run and to uh, resolve all the various questions uh, was really complicated. Um, and it took many years um, until I finally was able to uh, even give um, some uh, um, a presentation um, uh, freely uh, in Chinese, um, uh, whatever topic, uh, um, also uh, technical, scientific. But the major point was, and in fact, they have pushed me. Um, uh, this um, uh, was my first um, uh, team. And he was the founder um, living in Weilan Haiyan. <laughs> um, and um, uh, they always uh, told me, uh, you have to um, uh, learn Chinese, you have to study Chinese, um, uh, because also their English was very limited. And why do I do this even now? Um, because um, uh, I invested so much in um studying Chinese and trying to uh, really understand and um, speak relatively well, um, that I would feel it to be a loss uh, if I uh, suddenly stop. Um, and even now I already um, see, I feel that my um, the Chinese level uh, is going down uh, month by month, uh, one step. And, and this is probably normal. Uh so you, 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 you said you learned Chinese because of the, your career, your job in China. You want to communicate with your, the, the factory uh, people directly. And you want to communicate with your football club uh, uh, fellows. But I, I, I think um, if you um, have not uh, I've got to know the football uh, players or, the, or you, you have not joined the football club or you lived in China not because of the, the your your company have you still learned Chinese uh, no if I would not have um, been forced because of the huge problems we had in China in the first years uh, which from the distance in Germany we have not been able to resolve. So, um, uh, and my, um, my managers uh, who um, were every once in a while traveling to China, they failed to resolve the problem. So finally I fired them and I decided uh, I go myself. Um, if I would not have gone myself, um, uh, we would have never solved and I would have become bankrupt. Um, so, um, uh, that, uh, in fact, I was uh, forced to go to China. If not this, I would have never studied Chinese. But um, before I had also many Japanese uh, customers. And before that, I tried to also um, study Japanese, um, uh, which I have brought a little bit to some communication level. But all the Japanese was lost um, um, when I started to be to become a little bit okay in Chinese, and it's lost forever. And I, with the language, I have a very interesting um, experience. Um, um, even before 
um, before I started to learn uh, uh, Japanese a little bit, um, uh, it, except for English, I was fluent in French since my um, um, high school time. Uh, more and more fluent, even in my um, uh, science work, um, I was able to give freely, without any preparation, a talk about uh, my research in French, in a French university, uh, with no preparation. Um, and I thought, um, this will never be lost. One day in Shenzhen airport, I saw a group for French and passed by them and I heard them um, talking about their problem. Ah, where do we uh, have to go? Ah, we are kind of lost. And so I thought I can help them and I approached them and asked them, can I help you? And they looked at me, didn't understand until I realized I was talking to them in Chinese. And I did not find even the simplest French words anymore. My French was completely lost, was covered um, by Chinese. And a few years ago with my um, new uh, Lebensgefährtin, uh, a life partner, um, uh, we have been in France maybe first time in 2016. Uh, it was extremely complicated for me not to talk Chinese, but uh, on the market to um, answer in um, in French, and my um, friend always told me, "Ah, again, you were talking Chinese." <laughs> so uh, I heard a similar experience from other uh, Europeans uh, when they started to learn Chinese, they forgot their second uh, foreign language. Uh, I I don't know why. For me, it's uh, English. I'm losing my English. Uh, I'm talking in English with you now, but I think in German. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, interesting. Mm. Yeah. So uh, the next question is a little bit uh, um, klischeehaft. Ich weiß yeah. nicht, wie man das auf Englisch uh, uh, sagt. Um, we, 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 we always talk about the top three. No? What are your top three unforgettable moments or experience during your time, during your stay in China? And uh, uh, during the 13 years. Yes. And the first thing I want to say, uh, it's hard to select only three because mm -hmm. I have really many, many, many unforgettable moments. But here are the three. Um, and it was extremely um, um, strong feelings uh, joining uh, these many people here um, at... Um, a road between Shilkou or Nanshan um, and um, uh, the center of Shenzhen uh, to watch uh, the torch relay. Um, and my friends uh, always said, um, how did you make these photos? And I have many, many more. Uh, we have been somewhere inside here. We didn't see anything of the torch relay. Yes, I said, you need to know where to go, where it is possible to watch it. <laughs> So they were uh, jealous uh, about my decision where to go. <laughs> um, That's very Chinese. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, then at the end of my time in China, uh, in the last three years, um, I had the chance to um, make three um, individually organized uh, bigger touristical trips. Um, individually organized means I organized a, a driver and that driver didn't know any Chinese, uh, any English word uh, except for thank you and hello. Um, and that's it. Um, and <laughs> my life partner, my friend um, uh, said all the time, uh, don't leave me here. Uh, I would be lost. Uh, nobody understands me. Yes. Uh, I will not leave you here in the uh, Gobi Shanhua. <laughs> uh, Shahu. um, so I uh, made three trips. One was to Gansu, um, the other one to Qinghai, and the third one to Yunnan. Um, in uh, Gansu, um, uh, we lived um, very close uh, to, um, or even inside, 
in fact, uh, part uh, of the outer skirts of the Gobi Desert, uh, Gobi Shamur. Um, and there inside in a trip, by chance, we found an oasis. And in that oasis, it was not planned at all. We discovered um, a, a group of Przewalski wild horses, which was extremely um, uh, touching for me especially as I was able to approach them very, very closely and hear that um, a young a horse is sucking milk um, um, at his mother. Um, it was extremely touching. And the third, um, uh, for me, extremely touching moment, um, um, unforgettable, uh, was um, uh, um, at the Tianhai Hu, um, uh, we stayed there a long time, um, just for nature. Um, and uh, one um, most important point was I wanted to see the black-necked crane, um, Heijing He. Um, and uh, it was hard to find them because it's so huge and the, the uh, lake is so big. Then we saw um, a pair from very, very far. And I said, if we just walk around the plane, they will leave and I, we will not see them. So I decided I wanted to walk through this wet meadow um, disguised by the yak. And then uh, my friend um, uh, was afraid of because they are so huge, but they are friendly. Uh, so we walked here and finally um, approached um, the um, black-necked cranes um, this was uh, really, really, for me, unbelievable, uh, unforgettable, because it was a dream of mine since 30 years. Did you uh, make these kind of trips uh, only with your partner or in yes. a, 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 a small group? No, only with my partner um, and, um, and the, uh, the driver. And, and uh, I decided where uh, we uh, would go, go. Um, and I had made the plan. Um, and uh, my best friend uh, in uh, a Chinese, my in China, um, a Chinese woman, um, uh, she was my first uh, employee. She said, "No, you have to go there and there and there and there and there and there." No, no, no. I said, "Just three locations in every, at every location." three, four days, uh, so to really experience it. But then you won't see that and that and that. And that. Yes, I won't see that. Uh, we are happy to see Tianhai Hu for so many days. Unbelievable. You, uh, uh, I'm, I'm jealous. You've been someplace where the Chinese people uh, won't go or don't mm. know uh, you you have seen wonderful stuff, uh, uh, animals and the landscape and uh, the nature. I started to read your book. I fear strongly your 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 love, your uh, emotion to the nature. Could you tell us a little bit more about this? Why did it come? Um, this came um, uh, in my youth, started in my youth. I am from the rural region, um, a highly industrialized and dirty uh, center um, um, with, for German relation, uh, many, many people. Uh, but um, uh, in my youth, I, I had a deep phase, a long phase of depression, a depressive mood. Um, uh, and uh, uh, so by chance, probably, I went out uh, to the only small forest we have there uh, in my um, hometown. And um, there um, I finally find out I could be relieved and I uh, um, uh, saw the first, I found the first uh, bird feather and started to collect bird feathers. Then later I started to try to learn um, uh, birds as well, um, and more and more um, got um, connected with nature. You know, in the my, same in Shenzhen. In my field, uh, it's very interesting. You told you you were depressed, 
depressiv. Ja? Yes. In mein Feld, um, there are lots of new uh, therapy methods uh, in, in, uh, in, uh, um, for, how to say it? Um, to overcome depression. Yes, um, depression or stress. Um, the nature therapy is uh, the uh, therapy with animals. Therapy is just so you that, like do hiking or uh, walking in the nature. Uh, I always told my clients if you can do some sport, that's good. If you can go to the go outside, uh, do some sports in the nature, that would be better. Uh, I found a very touching uh, paragraph in your book. I am very, very, really touched uh, when I read this. It's uh, page 11 and 12, three sentences. I, I, I don't know if you have this book. Uh, you, you have this book uh, at your desk or where? No, no, I ha don't have the book here okay. at my desk. <laughs> Can I read these three yes. sentences? Yeah, it's, sure. it's German, but I'd yes. like to do it. I'd yes. love to do it. Yes. Ich therapierte mich durch die Beschäftigung mit Vogelfedern und bei Aufenthalt in der Natur selbst und fand aus meinen Ängsten und meiner tiefen Niedergeschlagenheit heraus. Wald und Feld waren für mich Rückzugsorte geworden, in denen ich mich entspannen über mich selbst und die Welt nachdenken könnte. Die Natur als vom Menschen geformte Landschaft gleichermaßen wie wilde, raue, schwarz zugängliche und einsame Gegenden ist seitdem regelmäßig Quelle der Entspannung und der Linderung vom beruflichen und privaten Stress gewesen. Ja. That's the therapy. Ja. Äh, und äh so wie du sagtest, um, so as you said um, as well, uh, sport. Uh, that's why I um, um, played soccer a lot in China as well. Um, uh, my time in China was extremely stressful. Um, I was traveling um, uh, every day. Um, and I was working like 16 hours a day in average. Um, and to... Um, uh, have on the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and then uh, even also Wednesday, I had three teams in total um, and playing soccer um, and uh, at another day to walk out to Xian Hu Zhe Wu Yan and be there alone, just on my own. That is um, a really um, de-stressing, so relieving stress. Yeah, I, I, I find the, your story with uh, uh, soccer club is very touching. When I Googled you, I came across a video. Um, I think it's not of YouTube, but uh, a Chinese platform. Uh, before you, uh, you, you, you left China, your club uh, members, they, they made a video for yes. you. Yes. When I watch it, I uh, tear comes. <laughs> I had <laughs> tear in, in, in my eyes. That's really very touch. Uh, your your um. Why I invited you to this uh, interview? I think um, you are really one of the most interesting personality the, the, uh, that I uh, I got to know in the last twenty years in Germany, who have also. Um, uh, relationship with China. You 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 did not uh, only live in China, but you lived your life there. You yes. have Chinese friends. You speak uh, Chinese. You you got to know a little bit of real China, not yes. like the other expats. A uh, lot of other expats they, they, they live there. They live there in Shenzhen two, uh, 10, 20 years, and they know Shanghai, Beijing. Shenzhen, Hong Kong. <laughs> and, and they know other expats. Yeah, they know other, other ex expats. Yeah. Um, in fact, um, uh, when uh, my soccer teams, all the three, prepared the, um, uh, uh, our last uh, farewell party, um, uh, we were together with over 60 people and they were just two expats, two uh, foreigners. 
myself and my girlfriend, my uh, life partner, uh, who is 70, even one year older than I am. <laughs> Yeah, and the, the story continued. I know you invited the whole club to Hamburg yes. in, in, yes. in Germany. Yes. When was that? In 2016, uh, it was a long, long plan. Um, and finally, uh, we deci uh, they decided to really come. Uh, and they also followed my recommendation not uh, to visit 12 towns in seven days, uh, but to be in seven days just in three different locations and uh, one was my farm um, and uh, we made a kayak uh, a canoe trip um, uh, close to Lübeck um, uh, and we spent a day at my farm and all this kind of stuff um, uh, and finally and we even hiked uh, in the nature preserve uh, uh, there Uh, uh, maybe I can show uh, the readers uh, 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 what I see when uh, the, the uh, um, listeners here, uh, when I uh, uh, watch out what I see here. Yes. <laughs> what a hey, friendship. So do you come out uh, uh, Lübeck? Uh, close to Lübeck. Um, um, uh, uh, we are living about um, uh, 40 kilometers away from Lübeck. Ah, ich wohne in Schabuz jetzt. Ah, <laughs> ja, zwischen Hamburg und uh, Schabuz. Ah, I, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Schön. Yeah. Okay. Now we come to my next question. I uh, thought about it. I uh, just, as I said, you were uh, a special expert in mine. Uh, um, period uh, in, in my mind um, I asked the I asked me the question why uh, how how why uh, you had this uh, attitude to live in in China as an expert but uh, at the same time uh, you have a very um, um, different view of the whole thing. So I think, is it because of your personality or is it because your background, your history, uh, or is it because the whole uh, 30, 13 years of your Chinese uh, China experience? Uh, so the next question is in what uh, as aspects had China changed you and your life, and what is your biggest profit and the loss? So, in what aspects uh, did my um, view onto China uh, change? Um, as you said, um, I really had decided to, I want to live in China and not uh, wait, wait, wait until I can go back to Germany. Um, and um, uh, on the other side, it was an extremely exhausting work in China with the customers and all the traveling and uh, the Chinese and the complicated technical problems and stuff. Um, so the main thing which I learned first is when I previously thought, here are my limits. These have not been my limits. My limits have been far above but also helped by my friends, by sport, by uh, getting out to nature whenever possible. Then uh, I have to say, um, or I can say, um, my view on China changed a lot um, because the better I uh, learned Chinese, the more I could also talk to them, also privately, personally, what is um, with their family. Uh, I have, um, in Germany, I have two grandchildren. In China, I had um, three um, uh, replacement grandchildren. Uh, so they replaced my grandchildren. Um, uh, and to get to see them grow. Uh, one of my grandchildren in China, uh, I know uh, uh, since he was born and he is now 15. Um, uh, so in total, my horizon has widened a lot uh, about the people, the history, the culture, 
uh, how China developed um, uh, also um, about politics. And sure, that is something one can heavily discuss, uh, I know, but my view has um, really uh, completely changed. Um, and uh, what also changed, uh, I have never expected that I would really be able to um, uh, kind of freely talk. Uh, I already have um, lost half of it, uh, or I don't know how many percent. Uh, but um, uh, when I started to be in China, I was already in the mid of my 50s. Um, and um, uh, finally, um, uh, even was able to, to uh, somehow uh, well speak Chinese. And your question, what was my uh, biggest loss? I cannot answer. I don't see any loss. Ah, uh, something I wanted to show, um, uh, I forgot to show, uh, so I will do. Um, uh, one of my biggest wins was the nature in Shenzhen. Uh, and um, if you want, uh, you or maybe later uh, when you get the whole presentation, you can look at this um, link. Um, uh, with this link, um, you can see a presentation which I have given to um, the company which I, which invited me every year to their New Year's dinner. And uh, that is the presentation for that, um, I think 2013 or so, I don't remember, the New Year's dinner. Um, and I showed them um, 20, 30 bird photos um, from several locations in Shenzhen. And the 120 people we, which, uh, who were uh, um, attending that New Year's dinner None of them knew any of these birds and none of them has ever been in any of these nature spots. Um, so I tried to motivate them, go out to nature. It's really available in Shenzhen. And these um, uh, black-faced spoonbill, um, uh, Halian Bilu, um, they are ra very rare birds. Um, about one and a half thousand left and they are only in Asia and they are wintering in the Shenzhen Bay. And there, I didn't know, I, I just discovered them there. And after that, uh, sure, one can read uh, and then one can find out, yes, half of them uh, are wintering in uh, Shenzhen Bay and also an, at the Hong Kong coast. Thank you for teaching me how to read the four Chinese characters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, now you live in uh, by Hamburg. Yep. I know in Hamburg, I've never been to Lübeck. Uh, so what are you correctly doing? What are you currently doing? Yeah. I know um, you have a farmer. Yes. A bio um, farmer. Uh, I uh, can tell you about, but first, uh, maybe I want to, um, if, do you see me at the full screen now? I uh, see the or, calligraphy and you. Yeah, okay. So then I will show all of you what I see from my desk. Um, and there, the uh, where the trees are, this is um, uh, the boundary to the nature preserve um, uh, here close to Hamburg. I'm living outside of Hamburg, but Hamburg is very close. Um, and that nature preserve is um, uh, where I have started um, 40 years ago uh, to um, protect the first cranes which uh, came to Hamburg. Um, and then I was the organizer of um, the crane protection program and which brought me to crane research which I did in my leisure time uh, together with my at that time young sons <clears throat> and finally I um, uh, wrote this book uh, wh which you used uh, um, Rong, uh, you uh, used to read a little bit um, and um, so this is part of uh, my work and also starting from my nature protection um, attitude. 
um, about now 12 years ago, I invested in um, a uh, biological farm, uh, which is Kattendorfer Hof. Um, here you see the link to that farm. Um, and since 2009, when I invested, uh, we grew heavily. Um, now we are, um, we have 60, uh, more than 60 employees. We work on 450 hectare rented land um, um, and in two locations. And now we have five of our own shops, four in Hamburg. And uh, starting um, August 1st, we will have the sixth um, shop of our own. Um, also, actually, uh, I'm still active with my science and technology because when I sold my company, um, they basically only continued the printed circuit board final finish technology. Uh, but um, uh, my organic metal, Yoji Jinshu um, uh, technology, uh, which I had discovered, um, also um, can offer a highly efficient anti-corrosion um, system, uh, which uh, the company which bought my company uh, did not uh, continue. So I'm now rebuilding it together with, a, with an Indian company. Um, and um, roughly since uh, six, nine months, I'm working on another um, book, uh, which is more um, rooted in my science. Uh, my scientific work um, is um, apart from discovering the organic metal, which is a completely new material. Uh, it's devoted, um, focused on to dispersion, and that has big links to non-equilibrium thermodynamics. So something which um, you uh, may not be interested in, but it also leads to the question how coincidence came into our world. And that is uh, what I'm actually writing a book about. But I will not explain now. Um, just apart from that, uh, my life partner and I, in total, we have seven grandkids, but none of them jointly. Um, <laughs> so she has five. I, am, I have only two, so I lost that uh, competition. Uh, if there was a competition and <laughs> one of them um, uh, we are uh, uh, he is 18 months old uh, both uh, parents are doctors um, and uh, they uh, sometimes their shifts are overlapping um, so we help them and drive to Lübeck and uh, take care of that uh, grandkid do you always show your grandchildren the nature as you did yes. to your uh, yes. to your children Yes. 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 Uh, back to your slides, the last slides. Uh, I have a, 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 um, a couple of questions. Can you explain a little bit how uh, your farm works? Do you sell the products of the farm or do you sell membership? Uh, both. Um, we shall, um, uh, which in English is called. Um, Community supported agriculture. Um, in German, it's solidarische Landwirtschaft. Um, so, with that, we sell a membership, and uh, every member um, uh, is booking a so called uh, harvest share. Uh, and every week, we um, send um, to their store. So, every of our member is member of a group somewhere and that group somewhere has a storage room and we send the products to that storage room um, plus we are sending our products to our now five soon six our own shops and in these shops we are um, um, selling all kinds of products not only uh, our own uh, farms products and the farm products are um, all kinds of vegetable, um, potatoes, sure, uh, no rice. <laughs> um, uh, then uh, milk, cheese, um, and meat, pig meat, and um, 
um, uh, here um, we have uh, the milk cows and so um, their meat as well um, if they get um, if they don't give the milk anymore <clears throat> so um, everything uh, except for um, 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 banana and um, oranges and stuff uh, that we don't have, sure. Nice. May I visit your farm? <laughs> yes, sure. Uh, you can come anytime, um, but now with Corona, a little bit more complicated, in Kattendorf, which is um, close to Kaltenkirchen. And a second uh, location is closer to Schabreutz. Uh, that, that is um, uh, not far from uh, Oldesloe. Um, uh, it's a good Neva star. Um, uh, uh, if you um, later, when my presentation will be sent out, um, you can see kattendorferhof.de. Um, uh, you see the, our um, uh, two locations and you see our various shops um, on that website. Uh, oh, okay. It's a, it's a link. Yeah, right? so they go. 他這個Victoria很我很羨慕你,你可以直接去他的農場買東西給他們有很多的活動,他們年都有活動這種像像像這種家庭的聚會非常有意思. <笑> okay, Bernhard, uh, to uh, to the farm, uh, back go back to your farm. Uh, is this the um uh, obligation or a prestige for the members to buy the harvest? They should buy the harvest, or yeah, they, they uh, have the right to buy the harvest of the farm. Sure, nobody is forced to buy a harvest share. <laughs> uh, but you cannot be a member without having the harvest share. Uh, why, else, why should you, why do you want to be a member okay. and you don't want to eat our product? So that doesn't make any sense. Um, to uh, be a member with a full harvest share, you can also um, book a half share or you book a vegetarian share, or you only book a, a vegetable share. Mm -hmm. um, but um, uh, talking about the full share, it's 125 euro per month, and you get the full harvest share. Theoretically, you can fully um, uh, be sustained, supported by that harvest share, theoretically. Mm -hmm. But um, everybody um, buys other stuff as well. Mm. In your presentation, you said uh, you invested in this organic farm yes. when you were uh, when you were still in China. Yes. So at that time, uh, was it uh, was it just for you an investigation for the future because organic uh, will be very modern and uh, popular stuff, or is it because of your love to nature to uh, environment? Um. That was the starting motivation, uh, so to um, do something else for nature protection. Mm -hmm. um, that's uh, why I invested, but there was another motivation. Um, I um, also was um, thinking about how to invest my money, um, because um, 12 years ago, uh, I could um, count that 12 years later, uh, I would be almost 70. Um, um, uh, and in the meantime, I was 65, um, and which is the normal time to tour show. Um, uh, so uh, how to finance my, um, uh, my tour show uh, uh, time? Um, and um, because I am a, a self-sustained entrepreneur, um, so the German... Um, uh, uh, insurance system um, uh, doesn't support me. Um, and uh, uh, when I invested 2009, you may remember we had the global financial crisis. Um, so my question was, um, now I have a certain amount of money, which is thought to be to finance my time until I die. Um, and 
if I put that to the bank or I buy company shares, um, uh, public company shares, or I invest in housing or whatever, what ha what is what will be happening during financial crisis and whatever happens? And sure, I had no idea Corona uh, would come, uh, but I was aware of the possibility of crisis. And my other thought was not only nature protection, but if everything collapses, including all the banks and all my money is lost, I will go to my farm and pick up a few potatoes, a little bit milk and cheese and um, a, a, a piece of meat and go back home and eat it. So basically you said it's not uh, 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 late when you uh, start a new business or new life in the middle of 50s or end of 50s. Sure, not too late. Uh, one not can start late. and change life anytime. <laughs> Very good. So we are going to um, our last question. Then all of us will have half an hour to uh, um, ask you questions and uh, get your, your answers. Um, now, uh, as most of the members of this book club are, are, are Chinese who live in Germany, most of them. So which uh, advices would you like to give us, give to the young Chinese people who are living here? Uh. Sure, first, it's hard to say um, what advice, but um, just some recommendation from uh, uh, out of my experience in China. Uh, to immerse yourself deeply in Germany, uh, which means to really study the German language, um, have German friends, um, uh, try to get into contact um, uh, with uh, Germans, uh, not only for work or for university or whatever you are doing here, but also for sport, for leisure time, um, and be together with Chinese only very, very rarely. Um, um, be more with Germans because you are in Germany now. And I don't know whether you uh, uh, will... Um, stay uh, the rest of your life in Germany or go back to China. Uh, like me, I was in China 13 years and I wanted to be for that time. In fact, I did, never knew I would be there 13 years. I, first I thought two years, then I thought five years, then I thought another three years and finally total 13. So I never knew. Uh, but for that time, I wanted to be in China and live in China and be with Chinese and got to know China. Same for you in Germany. Got to know Germany together with Germans. Uh, I know there are a lot of ugly and bad Germans, but same in China, you have a lot of bad Chinese as well. Um, uh, so select those Germans uh, who are good to you and uh, you feel well together with them. There are a lot of them in Germany as well. Um, then my um, uh, advice for every Chinese as well, do not only visit towns and culture and um, uh, uh, um, castles, but, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but also go out to nature. Try to find out what kind of birds do we have here. Go to nature protection areas, to national parks, to areas where uh, there are no other people, almost no, a little bit lonely, mountains, sea coast. I wanted to ask you, who of you knows the Wattenmeer, the mudflat, um, Nita? <laughs> uh, uh, no, 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 I have no Deich. <laughs> yeah. Weltkulturerbe. Not yes, it's Weltkulturerbe. Mm. It's a... Uh, uh, do uh, e who are really go there and watch it um, and because Germany is small compared to China it's roughly only as big as Guangdong um, so get to know Europe Fago, Idali um, Rydian, uh, Norway and one thing I really can recommend go to Bingdao again do e who are 
Uh, plus, finally, don't read too much uh, in Chinese books or in German books about Germany. Explore it yourself. Um, when I uh, read uh, Chinese books, uh, 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 German books and English books about China, finally I found out <laughs> they are all not appropriate. They do not uh, tell me uh, how is China. So what I found in China was completely different than what I would what I read in the books. So, and then when you finally get uh, the presentation, you can see here some links. Um, you can um, visit my website um, um, and also find out a little bit about the book uh, I um, published in 2011, Lao uh, Wei. Lao Wei is my um, Chinese name. Um, and uh, here you can contact me. Um, if you are a little bit interested in my crane research, uh, next Wednesday, April 21, uh, I will give a presentation um, at, not really at, because it's online. Uh, so I will sit here again. <laughs> um, uh, at the University of Hamburg Cent um, Zentrum für Naturkunde, CENAC. Um, and when looking at the web, you can see this link um, and you can apply, forget the link uh, here at uh, Uni uh, Universität Hamburg. Um, uh, so I will present my book about my crane research there. Yeah, that's basically it. Vielen herzlichen Dank. Ähm, du hast diese Folie schnell weg, ich glaube. Ähm, also deine, deine uh, your, your advice, I agree with all of them, um, except a little bit um, different from my point of view, uh, what, your, uh, what you in your first uh, uh, advice says. Uh, said, um, you said, do not primarily be together with other Chinese. I agree, I agree. If you live in Germany, it's a great chance to get to, uh, to, get to know the local culture, the local people. And uh, only very rarely, I don't agree. <laughs> 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 I lived there uh, quite a long time. Uh, I think the root is very, very important. Yeah, sure. You, you, you feel safe, you feel comfortable with your life, then you can ex explore. So if I don't have contact to Chinese people within a, a couple of weeks, I, 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 I will be unhappy. Or if I don't wrote, I, I, I don't write in Chinese. I, I, I need the, the Zugang to the relationship to my mother culture. Yes, that's why I read Chinese. I talk to Chinese people. I write uh, Chinese language. Mm -hmm. So I think the balance is important. Yeah, uh, I fully agree. Um, uh, only what I mean with that do it rarely means if you first focus more on getting to know Germans, which also means you get to know. Uh, one or two or three and two of them are not good then you leave them and then is left only one and then another two three four and again you will lose two but if you do not focus on how to get to know then you will stick with Chinese and finally you are in a Chinese bubble um, in a China bubble in Germany and you never get to know uh, German. For me, um, um, there was a little bit um, uh, additional thing. First, I really focused on getting to know Chinese. Uh, when I was looking for a soccer club, some people recommended me, ah, there is an expat soccer club. I said, I don't want to um, uh, play soccer with expats. I want to play soccer with Chinese. So finally, I found them um, and um, uh, uh, so got to know the first Chinese. But sure, I also got to know uh, Germans. And 
French and English and American people. Uh, but I have to say, I did not feel well with them in Shenzhen uh, because of their attitude um, about China. Basically, they were not content in China. Every time I met them, they were criticizing their neighbor, their, um, uh, um, uh, their people in the company and the taxi driver and in the shop. I couldn't hear that anymore. So I had no interest to be with them. So basically, you, are, uh, you advise the uh, Chinese people uh, who are living here, don't complain a lot. Yes. <laughs> you, you, I, that, you need yeah. to know more people. <laughs> yes, yes, don't complain. Go mm. out and uh, explore new things, new areas, right. new locations. And in fact, uh, please don't misunderstand me. <clears throat> uh, I am focused on nature, but sure, I have also looked uh, into Chinese culture. My, my girlfriend, my uh, new life partner, um, um, when I got to know her and we came together, then she told me, when I was a young girl, uh, I had the dream to once go on Chinese, the China Wall, the Great Wall. I said, I was on the Great Wall, in fact, early 2000, uh, when I visited Beijing and Changchun for my research uh, uh, stories. Um, so I was on a Great Wall, but it was at a location where um, too many people were there. And I don't want to show you this area. So we will go to a different location. And we went uh, to the outer west end of the Great Wall, where the Great Wall starts in the west. In Gansu? In west. Gansu. Oh. And we walked um, the Great Wall uh, up. Um, uh, I will show you a photo. Uh, please, I apologize. I will walk a little bit. Um, this photo here. Can you see it? Yes. Yes, the Great Wall. That's the Great Wall. Um, and here, this walkway we walked. Um, and these are really, um, again, touching, unbelievable um, moments. And sure, I have seen, in fact, twice, um, the, uh, the soldiers um, in Xi'an. Uh, and I was on... Uh, uh, on famous mountains and in, in Beijing uh, uh, on various uh, culture locations. Sure, also do this, also in Germany. And also visit the castle, sure. Go to Heidelberg, sure. <laughs> sure, Schloss Neuschwanstein. <laughs> I have never been in Schloss Neuschwanstein. Yeah, I know lots of Germans who who, who who never been there. And I I don't go there, but I know the button there. I, I let my last year I let my husband to Heidelberg. I was five times there, but for my husband it was the first time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, Gerhard, let's uh, take uh, care of the questions in the chat. Yeah. Let's go through it. Um, the first question I see is, what was the biggest difficulty when you were learning Chinese? Um, it took me, when starting to learn Chinese, it took me one full year until I was able to express the first real phrase. Before that, <laughs> before that um, I only was able to express a few words, but never a full phrase. That was the biggest thing um, to understand. And then the second um, uh, big problem was when I started um, to, with my first phrases, 
um, a very nice um, experience, funny. Um, I trained myself for one frisbee because um, I was driving with my bike to a soccer field. And I knew that soccer field uh, will have um, eight places and we were scheduled to play on place number four. And I could imagine, and I didn't know that place, but I could imagine that place, that number will not be marked. So nobody would know where is um, the field number four. So I went there and I um, prepared to ask um, anyone uh, to tell me where is field number four. So I had the phrase and uh, was asking um, a Ching Wen, um, um, a Cho, um, a, a Cho Chan, uh, Sir Hao Zen Ali. Um, then the guy answered me, sorry, I don't understand English. <laughs> so then I repeated, Cho uh, Chan, Sir Hao Zen Ali. Sorry, I don't understand English. Mm. So I said that mm, I said that a third time, and then the, his friend said, "But he is talking Chinese." <laughs> so you, you felt a little bit uh, frustrated. Yes, you were talking Chinese, but people didn't yes. understand you. Yeah. But uh, you you didn't give up. You learned. I didn't uh, give up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the uh, second question is also related to Chinese learning. What are you doing regularly to maintain your Chinese language skills? How, how, do, how do you learn the Chinese now? Um, now I have a, a Chinese teacher um, who is living in Lübeck, but now mm. since one and a half years, uh, we are doing it uh, online or one, uh, one year, uh, doing it online by Skype. Um, uh, so uh, once per week, um, I have one to two hours a Chinese course with her. Mm -hmm. Um, communication, reading, and questioning, and uh, also writing. Yeah, um, I can see a couple of uh, words to my um, learning of German. Um, I, I I went to a, a German language school in in Dortmund, and uh, uh, after six months, I found a kind of, kind uh, <laughs> no 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 no. Um, Good uh, uh, classes because uh, my, my my level has arrived uh, uh, a relative high high uh, uh, stufe. Uh, yeah. Then I learned I only took um, private lessons. Yes, I, I I have a private teacher. We get together once a week and uh, write articles and she co corrected and uh, we talked about it, discussed it, or we read together a book. Uh, yeah. a literature uh, from a uh, great uh, uh, Schriftsteller. So we, we read the same book from the first page to another and we talk about the, uh, the, the figures and the, 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 um, or the talk about the book. That's how yeah. I continue to learn German mm. until today. <laughs> yes, good. Now mm. I, uh, I have still a German teacher. That's quite but comfortable. What I also can see is your German level uh, is higher than my Chinese level. <laughs> danke, danke. Okay, uh, next uh, question. I see people ask about the video link, maybe the li link I just mentioned about the, your, the farewell video yeah. from your soccer club. The soccer club was named Lao Niu, richtig? Yeah. Okay, Great. if you Google, and uh, you Google uh, Lao Niu, Zhu Qiu Dui, Shenzhen Lao Niu, Zhu Qiu Dui, then mm -hmm. 有 Ben had the Chinese names Lao Wei, Lao Wei and Lao Niu, Shenzhen Lao Niu Football Club. You will find this photo. It's a very touching photo. When he left China, the football club was given to him. You can see him as a player, a player of 50, 60, 70 years old, with a player of 50, 60, 70 years old. It's not like our Neuer, who is a player of 50, 60, 70 years old. It's not like our Neuer, who is a player of 50, 60, 70 years old. Okay. If you can't find it, you can contact me. I'm still looking at it. Are there any other questions? If you don't, we can ask you again. I'd love to say the first one. Okay. 
Uh, okay, the uh, website and the farm's location. Um, 我们会把呃 Ben had 的 PowerPoint 全部对吧？呃，那个呃，非凡是这样的哈，会会放到你你写在 chat 里面，或者是把它放到 chat 里面，然后你们就可以都找得到他的他的那个有机农场的活动和一些新闻信息。我们还会做呃写到这个公众号里面。呃呃，公众号里面 ，OK， 就是公众号你会发一篇这个回顾是吧？对，是的，是的。Okay, 然后这个包括他的信息都都会在上面。然后视频，这个视频我们也会做做一个视频。OK， 呃、uh, ，Bernhard， 呃、uh, ，Lisa， was was the time in chat， 呃、uh, ， geschrieben haben， kurz aus Heidelberg。Yeah， I just kurz kurz aufblicken sehen， ja， ich war belacht， ja、okay.。Okay, jetzt noch eine Frage.、Uh, now,、uh, one more question. I saw、uh, that you also built a company. Can you tell us why and how did you build this company?、Uh, I don't understand which company you mean. You mean the company in Shenzhen or the company?、Um, you mean the bio farm? I'm not sure. Uh, uh, this question is from,、uh, from my side. As、uh, I want to ask、uh, about the company in Shenzhen. How and、uh, why、okay. did you build this film?、Uh, this company. Okay, this、yeah. sh 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 chemi company in in、yes. film in Shenzhen. Why、yes. hast du damals diese film aufgebaut? Yeah. Um. Also, zunächst mal, um. First, I had the company um、uh, in Germany. Then, uh, when I started to be in China, I created a um company subsidiary. Um. In fact. That、uh, we didn't locate in Shenzhen, but by chance in Nantong,、uh, because there some people helped us、um, to very easily and with、um, very small money to、uh, just set up、um, uh, an empty、uh, company shell. Because I needed to start paying my my Chinese employees.、Um, then, when I sold the whole company、um, uh, with uh, which I made the、um, uh, the, the new technology,、um, uh, uh, the company who bought my company asked me to be their consultant. But in order to really、um, officially Get money in China,、um, and not to be um, uh, um, illegal.、Um, I needed a company basis, so I started a、um, consulting company, <laughs> Lao Wei Technology Consulting. <laughs> Lao Wei Technology、uh, Consulting.、Uh. Yeah, and that company、um, was、um, really located in Shenzhen. Uh, but uh, there was no,、uh, except for an official office, which I never used.、Um, uh, there was no building and nothing, and no employees. I was the only one. And with that company, um, uh, I uh, was able to also organize my um,、uh, um, residence trip, so my visa、um, and my work permit, and、um, I could receive the money. I paid taxes and all that stuff. Okay. Okay.、Um, I, Behad, I saw here a question、uh, from a、um, um, audience of of YouTube,、uh, a stream of the book club.、Uh, it's a long question.、Uh, do you know an international supply chain company called the PCH International in Shenzhen? I was impressed when I visiting it ten years ago. As they connected global demands on local production in Guangdong as well. What is your experience of the development of the IT industry in China?、Um, I was kind of connected with the IT industry in China because、um, my customers,、uh, which had been all over China in every、uh, industrial region in China,、um, they have not been in Gansu. <laughs>、uh, Uh, but everywhere where where was industry, there、um, uh, I had customers.、Um, 
So that's why I was um, uh, visiting um, uh, the whole industrial part of China. Um, uh, and all the, of them were connected with the IT industry somehow. And Shenzhen is a big center that also was by chance. Uh, when I decided to be in Shenzhen, uh, this was not because Shenzhen was a center of the IT, IT industry. Um, I only found out later. Um, uh, so Lenovo is there and uh, uh, many uh, IT companies. And I have to say, uh, I am um, uh, completely impressed, fully impressed about the progress the IT industry has made in China. Unbelievable. And uh, China is um, uh, 20 years um, uh, uh, in front of Germany. Uh, 20 years. Wow. Yeah. When, uh, when I told uh, my German um, family um, how I pay and how I call a taxi in China, uh, they thought I am from, uh, from the future, but not uh, from the present. <laughs> 中间有, oh, okay. uh, Dr. Wesling, thank you for the amazing presentation interview. I have two questions for you. One, people who have eyes for nature is blessed. Not everyone has eyes, attention to nature. How did you find your connection to nature? Why did you suggest people bury it uh, with work to develop a connection to nature. The second question, can you share your knowledge about German's mechanism to, in terms of a protection nature? What is your opinion about nature protection in China? Where should China focus the next in terms of nature protection? Wow, it's, uh, they, uh, they are big questions. Yeah, uh, before a, you answer them, I yeah. strongly recommend you, <laughs> you people, you, you guys, read this book. I, 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 I was very surprised. Um, I thought it's a book about a bird, about the Kanish, about her. But for me now, I start to read it. It's a, a, a philosophisch. It's a very, very philosophisch. Uh, super geschrieben. Ich bin ein Literaturliebhaber. Uh, du hast wirklich gut geschrieben. Du, ich, ich liebe deine Sprache. Uh, <laughs> this 对我来讲，当然它是一本关于鹤的，关于自然的，中间也讲到了回答了你这个问题，它怎么跟自然产生联系的，呃，也可以看一下。好， okay. Now, do you still remember the questions? <laughs> yeah, I, I remember. Um, yeah, please. And uh, uh, I know that many people don't have an eye uh, on nature, and uh, you cannot go to somebody and ask them please um, teach me to get the eye. Um, that you can only do by going out yourself and watch and watch and listen and listen and walk and walk and just enjoy. Um, and sure, if you uh, walk with somebody who already has an eye, um, uh, he or she can show you something which you didn't see. Like my um, new uh, life partner, um, she also loved nature, but she had no eye. Uh, and when we started to, we, we are only together six years now. Uh, and when she started to be with me, um, we went out um, and then I said, oh, look there, uh, which, which bird. And look up there, which, which bird. And then uh, about half a year, a year ago, she told me, uh, now I have, I am starting to myself see the birds and uh, also starting to see the fresh green and she sees more and more and more. And the same is when you go out. Um, what then do, ah, a nature protection. In fact, I am not content with nature protection in Germany at all. Um, many nature protection, including the one uh, which I'm looking at, uh, are nature protection areas in words, but not in reality. Nature is much more than um, to have a sign 
which tells you nature protection area. Um, uh, in every country, we need to leave um, more bigger areas, just leave them alone, let them develop by uh, their own and not um, with all the human influence um, uh, all the time inside. Um, so that's a big thing. And I think, uh, except for that China has the huge cities um, and China is um, in the past has made a lot of damage to nature, I see that China also has uh, concluded need to protect the nature. And there are more and more well-maintained national parks um, and China is huge and has big areas where are no people. That's already um, a, a treasure. Okay. Uh Uh, ich, äh, I, I, ich erlaube mir ein paar Sätze zu ergänzen. Ich erlaube mir ein paar Sätze zu ergänzen. Ich erlaube mir ein paar Sätze zu ergänzen. Ich 还可以有发现自然的耳朵，发现自然的手，发现自然的你这个人。我们不需要你对鸟不感兴趣，我对鸟不感兴趣。有这本书其实是为为我的孩子买的，他想以后作为一个鸟鸟科学家。呃，我对
Ja, ich möchte äh, heute doch zum Ende unseres Interviews oder äh, Questions and Answers äh, einen Satz aus deinem Buch vorlesen. <lacht> Wir Menschen haben allen Grund zu Bescheidenheit und dazu, uns gegenüber der Natur respektvoll zu verhalten. Das ist der Fehler von dieser Sätze. Ich denke, er sagt Bescheidenheit der Natur gegenüber. Für mich, ich denke, wir haben nicht nur die Bescheidenheit der Natur, sondern für die Menschen, die wir haben, wir haben auch die Bescheidenheit der Natur. 不晒定孩子，一个谦虚的心，不仅是对大自然，不仅是对动物，这么这么可爱的、有趣的动物，呃，对我们、我们的工作、我们的同事、我们的家人，呃，对我们的生命，都应该有这个不晒定孩子。Also das ist wirklich ein philosophisches Buch, wir Menschen. Ich muss mehrfach das erwähnen. Entschuldigung. Vielen herzlichen Dank, dass du heute bei uns bist und ich ich hoffe vielleicht Sehen wir uns wieder bei diesem Buchclub, ja, wenn wir interessante Themen finden und ja. Wo 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 sie ja sie sie nehmen sie sie nehmen da ganz in zu wo wurde Jingli Zhongguo Jingli dann für je da zu ran Jingli für dann dann sie sie nehmen. Wenn Sie die Videos gefallen haben, bitte abonnieren, teilen, kommentieren und abonnieren.